on today's video we're taking a ride into the camp we're gonna work on that deer blind and we're gonna check the game cameras and maybe if I have enough energy maybe we'll cut just a little bit of firewood Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors and like I said earlier, today we're taking a ride in the camp, we're going to work on that deer blind a little bit, check the game cameras and again maybe if I have enough energy we'll cut a little bit of firewood, nothing too serious. Uh, I got my sons with me today, got Nick behind me and Pete behind the camera right now. And thought you guys might want to take a little ride in there with us. Check it out with us. Let's forget how nice it is having a strap like, strapped onto the camera. So you just put it one hand really you know, want to buy it, but they're not trying to pluck it. Maybe it's just working good then. Yeah, so far, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Song. Won't buy yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I bought some of that too. Where's that bug spray? You don't see any? No, I don't know where it would be. Mm -hmm. Probably have some in the truck if we don't see any. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Hold on, let me check that out. Two snake skin. It's right on the top. So. Okay. Was there like boards over it, do you remember? Or what? Well, I don't know if there was there. right here. But it was so, kind of folded over. So some kind of snake diskinned here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this was when you put it here, but it's really brittle. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. know what kind that is. Yeah, it's kind of a brownish one. One kind of hmm. slid underneath all this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, for anybody that hasn't been following along, I've got this deer blind here and the bottom sections of the deer blind when it was assembled were kind of getting eaten out by porcupines. So we're going to replace that because other than these holes, this is a really good blind and I'm going to want to utilize it. So we're going to replace that and get this blind up and running again. So I'm going to set this saw for a real shallow cut. Just run it across there and take the bad part of that uh, plywood off. Alright. 
Do you have it set on one? Nope. Oh, you should leave it set on one. Okay. That's two should only be for drilling, like with a drill. You mean like making the holes? Yeah, okay. but screwing where you need torque, because sometimes it just goes too fast and it'll spin in the head of the screw. And when you're doing it on that line I drew, you'll be able to tell if you don't hit the two by four. Yeah. And then just go to one side or the other and try to catch it. Just keep it upright so you don't lose any nails. Yeah, so we come out here. Here's kind of a nice surprise. Looks like my buddy Scott went ahead and installed a nice brand new window. The windows we had here before, you really couldn't open, and it really kind of was a problem when it came to getting a little uh, nice cool breeze through the camp. So, yeah, he must have just installed this in the last couple weeks take a look we were talking about doing two of them what do you think you think he was uh think he was that ambitious he actually did two <laughs> oh yeah he's an ambitious guy no doubt about it look at that wonderful yeah So oh, yeah, Scott's out here moonlighting. I guess so. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Uh, turbo spray. Look at a nozzle on that baby. We're gonna get this done. Let's see, what did it say? Oh yeah, four times faster than we normally would. So we got that going for us. 
Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Nick. I'm gonna let you use the turbo in a little bit. It's okay, I don't have to. Oh yeah, you're gonna want to. Are you getting this? I got it, oh, I got it. Cow. Dang. Watch this stuff. Banana Laffy Taffy smell. <laughs> Look at that. That's camel. Calligraphy. Mm. I gotta say, that is four times faster. Probably tastes about as good. That's pretty good. That's a joke. Yeah. Maybe I'll hang on to it. Whoa! There you go. Nice. No deer gonna notice me in here. This just looks like nature. Then grab that yeah that little pry bar and the hammer that says camp. Yeah. Put the other hammer just in here. And then uh so, Yeah, we're gonna bring them in we're gonna bring them into the camp. I'm gonna get the inside of those windows and I'm thinking about it. Best I can. I don't know how the lighting's gonna be. dark but there's the new windows mm -hmm. nice Right? You guys remember like 
if we would just come out for something like this, um, you just have to sit in the dark. I mean, think about how dark, <laughs> how dark it is in there right now. Mm -hmm. um, you just gotta be sitting in the dark because the, the whole, the only place you get any sun is from this end. Yeah. You know, we didn't have any windows on that end. We just had the door and mm -hmm. nothing else. So it was always so dark in there oh, all yeah. the time. Even if it was in the middle of the day, it was so dark. Well, and that eave comes over the side windows so much too, it's not gonna. And then it's just all trees around it. Mm -hmm. This, you know, this way. Yeah. Yep. And then the other end, there was a little bit of an opening facing that way, like as far as like opening in the tree line. Yeah. But we just had that little shooting window that was kind of this big. Mm -hmm. I'll be the first to admit, I don't throw this stuff on every single time I use a chainsaw, but if I'm going to actually go ahead and cut firewood, I've been trying to get in the habit of putting it on. Like I said, if I if I'm running out and I need to just get like one tree off the side of the road or something, I have to admit I don't put this on every time. But again, I'm going to cut firewood, trying to get in the habit. So. hat's much more comfortable. Rule of two may always ring true. Yeah. Unless there's one left. <laughs> That's it, eh? Yeah. That's it. Nah, that was quick, eh? Yeah. No splitting. That's one nice thing. Well done. Cleaning up these tops from when they cut the property. Generally, there's no splitting involved. Yeah. So, we got that going for us. Yeah, it's a nice quick little bundle of firewood for 20 minutes of work. Awesome.
It says it's fine now, but it's probably still a little iffy. Hmm. How's it looking, Nick? Good. Uh, at least four logs just within this fence. Yeah. And there's a few minnows floating around. Is it? Cool. Yeah, there's like, it's like pretty much no flow because it's almost uh, a frog, eh? Mm -hmm. It's almost entirely below the culvert even. There's just a little trickle, eh? One there, one there, one there, one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of frogs. Lots of frogs, no beaver dams. All right, first of all, guys, Canada's Practical Outdoors apparel, hat, Camaro's Crawler's t-shirt. You this didn't is just, give me one. I know. <laughs> I should have told you to wear something. Yeah. My bad. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Anyways, Canada's Practical Outdoors apparel. It's excellent for uh, fixing up deer blinds, checking game cameras, uh, shooting wasp nests, and cutting firewood. But anyways, guys, hey, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. It's Dave Knetter, with Pete Knetter, and Nick Knetter for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.